Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kelsey Bree here. In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys 15 things right now that you can do while at home in quarantine. So I came up with 15 ideas and things that you can do at home and I broke them up into four categories. So the first one is self-care and under that I have start a self-care routine or change it up. So if you already have a routine and you've just been doing it for a while and you want to change it up as in try a new face mask, a new face wash or a new moisturizer for your face, like just incorporate something new. Try a new product, see if it works. If it don't, that's okay. Now, if you don't have a routine, then that's fine as well. Maybe you want to start one, try out some new products that you think that's going to really help clean your face. Maybe have some glow and some lip. So that's exciting. Number two is give yourself a makeover or try a new look. So if you had the same look for maybe like two, three, four years and you're just like not liking it, it's not giving you that mm or that ooh, you know what I'm saying? So this is a great time and a perfect time to change your new look and try something new. Maybe find a new aesthetic or incorporate one aesthetic and maybe pull from different kinds. That's all right too, it's all okay. Okay, and number three, you can start a self-love list. So if you've never heard of this, basically you get a composition book or any type of notebook, piece of paper, poster board, and you just write down a list of self-love and self-worth court. Self-love and self-worth court quotes. OMG. Do you get what I'm saying? So basically you do that and it just helps you realize that wow, like, like yeah, like I'm it. Like this is it. I'm just yeah that's basically what it do man maybe some motivation for yourself so yeah i highly advise doing this and i'm going to put up some examples on the screen right here you can find them on pinterest so for my second category i have things to clean so one of the things you can clean right now is decluttering your closet so if you have a lot of clothes and you know you don't even kind of like wear a certain like amount you can just clean it out like have a donation pile and then have a keep pile because instead of throwing those clothes away you can just donate it to someone who needs it and goes to a greater cause instead of it going to the trash it can go to someone who really needs it and you still got all your cute clothes that you're gonna keep so there you go another one is cleaning your phone we have about three to four or five apps on our phones that we don't even use. Maybe you want to get rid of that, clean up your phone, make them small little folders to make your phone look clean. And then also you can clean up your phone by getting rid of some data that you don't even need. So girl, now you got more storage on your phone and you can take more pictures, make some more memories. Yeah. Now the third thing that you can clean is clean your makeup brushes. Like this from my girls and guys, if you do makeup, so now you can clean up your makeup brushes. You can get that foundation from five weeks ago, a month ago, clean that eyeshadow that's on it. You can glow and clean that off now. You have time to do it now, so you should do it. Now my fourth idea for things to clean is always keep your room clean. Maintain a clean room, I mean, I think you should just do it, just keep it clean and whatever, just keep it clean. Okay. Now moving on to the third category, which is physical activities. So for this category, I try to do things that we normally don't do. So for my number one thing in this is try a different exercise. So I found facial exercises. And if you don't know what that is, that's just basically, you know, doing movements with your face, the mouth, eyes, and maybe holding down something to lift up. So this is something different, that's why I incorporate it in here. Another one is doing yoga and getting flexible. So basically yoga, you get flexible, right? But also it's a great stress relief. You can do it in the morning, the afternoon, evening, or nighttime. It doesn't even matter when you do yoga. It is just so relaxing and calming and you're getting flexible while doing it. So there you go. A third thing you can do is try Chloe Ting's two week ab workout challenge. This is very popular on YouTube and if you are a YouTuber and you need a video idea then here you go because you can do this idea. It's very popular on YouTube. The results are crazy. People have been getting like really good results so I have no doubt that you're going to get some results and have that nice stomach, okay? Yeah. Okay, on to my last category which is the fourth one which is arts and crafts slash photo shoots. So for this one, number one, you can attempt a Pinterest hack. I found a hack where you get a glow-in-the-dark stick, the little juice and like color inside, you break it, and then what you do is you get that liquid and you dump it into the nail polish bottle, shake it up, mix it around, and guess what? Now you got some glow-in-the-dark and nail polish. So I'm excited for that. 
I'm gonna try that. Um, and I'll let you know how it goes. Um, number two in arts and crafts is create a vision board. I have a vision board. If you want to see how I made it and what it looks like, I have a video on my channel. So go check that out after watching this video. Okay, yeah, I don't click off. So do that. And also it really helps you stay motivated and work towards your goals. That's the whole point of a vision board. And number three, if you have paint at home, then I highly advise you start painting because it's very relaxing, it's very therapeutic. And if you're an artist, then why not why not paint? Why not get creative? And if you don't have paint, then just get a pencil, a crayon, a color pencil. Just try something new, get better at it. That's all. So number four of arts and crafts is create a backdrop and have a photo shoot in your home. So I have seen some people get their bed sheets and they use it as a backdrop by just holding it up and whatever. Now you can do that, but if you can't do that, then that's okay because you can just go up against a wall, a plain wall, and have a simple background, which is good. Or you can go outside and get that good nature pick, you know what I'm saying? You can do that and have your own photo shoot. Now lastly in this category is take a mirror outside and take some photos outside. We've all seen them. They all come out really cute and really good. You don't need a gigantic mirror. You could just literally use a little small compact mirror that you use for your makeup and there you go. Period. So if you stuck to the very end of this video, I greatly appreciate it. All of my social medias and other recent uploads by me will be down in the description box. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.